As we approach the feast of the baptism of the Lord, we hear a very interesting story from John the Baptist. His disciples are very disturbed because Jesus, the Messiah, the one whom John has witnessed to, has now started baptizing. And he's not baptizing far from where John is. And so they're kind of worried that now people will start going to Jesus and not to John. Imagine it this way. If I were a chef and I opened a restaurant and I had a lot of clients, but then I had a friend who was also studying to become a chef. And one day he decides to open a restaurant somewhere and I tell my friends, you know what? That guy is such a good chef. Like when you go to his town, you have to taste his food. It's amazing. And then that friend decides to move next door to me. He decides to come to my town. And now all my clients whom I've told to visit that guy's restaurant now decide we're going to go there. <laughs> he's closer and you said that he's better than you are. So I lose all my clients. I should be upset. In the same way, John should be upset that Jesus has sort of undercut him, has taken over his clientele, so to speak. But John is humble. John realizes that he is not the Messiah. And he says as much to his disciples. He says, I told you already that that is the guy whom you should be following. I'm not even worthy to untie the, the lace of his sandals. I told you already. He says these words, he must increase and I must decrease. He must increase and I must decrease. Now, when we're talking about God, the infinite God, the great God, the mighty God, the king of the whole universe, being less, decreasing, is not so difficult, you might think. Because, I mean, compared to infinity, we're already nothing. <laughs> we're already down at the lowest level. We can't decrease anymore and he can't increase anymore. But we're in, in some way, a subtle competition with God. We're in competition with God. Because that God, who is so great, wants us to be humble. But he is always competing with us to be more humble. And this is what we find in the season of Christmas. We find that that great God was not satisfied being simply great. He wanted to humble himself to take our form. And not only humble himself to take our form, but he will further humble himself to go to the cross, to die for us. This is the humility of God. And that is the humility with which we are asked to compete. <laughs> we can never win. We're always going to be undercut in some way. But, when we say that he must increase and we must decrease, let us understand this, that we must continually, continually lower ourselves, humble ourselves, like that little child, like that God who died on the cross. We must continually humble ourselves so that we can be who we are truly meant to be. We can find in honesty who we are and we can honor God and his work in the world. Let us pray then to St. John the Baptist, because this work of humbling ourselves is not easy. As we often joke, you know, <laughs> sometimes we get to the point where we can say, I'm very proud of my humility, because the more we think about being humble, the more we find ourselves steeped in pride. And so we need really God's grace to make us humble, in fact, to humble us. So let us pray to St. John for that inspiration, that guidance, that grace that he may intercede for us, and that we might also decrease while Jesus increases.